Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another edition of the Make Code Arcade Advanced live stream, Pyramid Edition. <laughs> I'm Vivian at Live Cheerful on the Make Code forums. I'm Richard at Richard on the Make Code forum. I'm Shannon at Shakao on the Make Code forums. And we are going to continue the game that we made last week, but making it like big. And so here it is. We're going to see what it's about, and then we'll continue working on it. So, Richard, making this game last week, do you want to talk about it? Sure. So you play as this dashing explorer cat, and I think we decided that you're escaping from a pyramid. Yeah. But the thing you stole is cursed, and you can only walk while it's a green light. Um, <laughs> so the traffic light that's up here on the top, when it's green, that means go. Yellow means it's about to turn red, and with red you have to stop or your HP goes down. Mm -hmm. Then the other thing we did was there are spike traps, where if you Very walk cool. over them, they uh, will hurt you as well. Yeah, and oh no, the, get, the cat's name is Mo, <coughs> and we only have two tile maps right now. So let's do an overview of the code for you and for me, we have our stoplight, which is super cool because we have these like off colors and we have this, is a stifling? Dithering. Dithering effect over it to indicate that it's off. And then every once in a while, we'll change it to be the right color. And then if we're moving while it's red, then we will be, be punished. So I made a list of things I want to do so far. There are four things. The easiest one is to add a longer green period, so I'm going to do that right now because I think it should be longer as well. So, hmm. do a Daryl. I did a Daryl. Okay, but I didn't. I didn't collapse. Okay, I only did half a Daryl. Collapse blocks. Format code. Okay. It's the forever. Forever. Okay. Cool. I feel like I always pick up Richard's old stuff, and it's always very, very alarming. Um, so we're going to set the pause after the green to be five seconds. That's much longer. Very nice. Cool. Okay. So that's that. Um, also, I think I want to add like a debugging functionality where we load the level that we, or the, wait, current level. Oh, yes, I can just do this. I'm going to do current level to two. Then I'm going to add another one. Oh, wait, I'm going to, okay, so this one, okay, longer green period. That's done. I'm going to add a check mark. Check. Done. Now I'm going to add game over win. How do I make this bigger? Here. So yeah, current, cool. make a new level. So if you go to the load level. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess I can just check the length of it instead of making new variable. Yeah. Old level. Why wasn't this com? Okay, you go up here. Current tail map two. I'll do an if. <coughs> if. Nah. Nah. If current level is bigger. Current level is bigger. Then the length of all levels. Uh, uh, I think you want uh, equal to. Oh, yes. Equal to. All uh, length of array. Oh, it's right here. I haven't done any coding for two days, and I feel like I got to switch my brain into this. Um, Top. What am Top. Oh, yes. Thank you. It's whoever is coding forgets that. And whoever is not coding always remembers. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't thinking of what I was looking for. I'm just like, I'll I'll scroll through this list and see which one speaks to me, and I'll choose that one. <laughs> okay, cool. That's done too. Easy peasy. Check. Okay, now I'm going to make another level. So I'm going to do four and one in one. So I'm going to make this, oh, no, cop, no, I'm, mm, I'm just going to pull a new one out. 
You can uh, right click and duplicate. Oh. Okay. Just I'll don't do just don't do it on the square. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to make actually this one. I think is not a real level, right? This is a fake level. Yes. So this one's 16 by 16. I think the other one's 16 by 16 too. So I'll make this one 20 by 20. I'll add two more levels. And this one will be 25 by 25. What'd you, uh, what'd what you, uh, you know, you press tab. Oh. You tabbed into the hidden menu and then went to, enter. yeah, the JavaScript uh, editor. Can we, is that a bug? Yeah, yeah. should mark okay. that one down. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, no. Why did you do this? Okay. Um, yeah, it's our JavaScript. <laughs> okay, cool. That's also. You don't need to mark that one down. No, yeah, it's just also a, an issue that that's also make code's fault. <laughs> this should be 20 by 20. 20 by 20. OK, uh, I'll, I'll do this first, and then I'll change the other one. So going to make the wall. Oh, maybe I'll have it alternating top right corner and bottom corner because you fall through the hole. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm super excited. <laughs> OK. Um, Shannon, what's the best maze you've ever been in? Um. I've been in a corn maze once, and Ooh. I was impressed at how tall the corn was. Ooh, where'd you go for the corn maze? Uh, it was just some random, like, apple orchard place that also had a corn maze. Ooh. I don't like the haunted in, ones. Yeah, I was in a haunted corn maze one time as a kid, mm -hmm. and we got to a guy who had a chainsaw and was supposed to scare us, and he was on his break eating a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, it wasn't scary. I would not go into a haunted corn maze. Yeah. I don't think we knew it was a haunted corn maze. I thought we just, I think we just thought it was a normal corn maze. Uh huh. But I guess it ended up not being haunted, so. <laughs> I went to a corn maze last fall that was like Washington, and it had like the, the pads were like the highways of Washington, and they had like oh. many things of like things you could see around Washington, and it was great. <laughs> That's okay. intense. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll make a choice for you. Oh wait, our player is too tall. Like two square tiles tall. So I will make it here and you can have a choice. Which way do you want to go? And then you can go this way. And that'll be a dead end. What a fool. <laughs> oh, you should be able to see the exit. <laughs> but you can't get there. What was it? You guys want to make enemies to input? That might be good too. Um, okay, so then we can go this way, and then this is supposed to be a maze, right? Huh? Yeah. I mean, okay, cool. we didn't really decide. It could be a maze, or you know, just something where you have to navigate through the traps. Just oh. something that's interesting to the player, right? Yeah. But each floor can also be different, so you can maybe maze. maybe I'll add treasure. So then if you end up in bad places, you can still get, like, good stuff. Um, I'll add the treasure later. First make this a maze. Okay. Um, oh, I also think this button. Two down, because our character is a tall cat. Okay. And then I went add an enemy spawn spot. It's gonna look like a mum mummy. So I'm gonna just make the mummy a circle because toilet paper is white. <laughs> and then I will put it put a few mummies here. Oh yes, toilet paper. Oh, I'll put one here so you're like Oh, but then, then we had to give Mo a weapon, maybe, right? No, just run away from the mummies. Mm. But, like, what if the mummies corner you? 
I don't think this needs to be a game about fighting. Oh, yeah. but there's enemies. Are we supposed to make Mo defenseless? I mean, you could just make it so that when you run into a mummy, it goes does damage one time and then goes away. Oh, okay. That's maybe most weapons are his claws <laughs> built in or his um, scary meow. Yeah, <laughs> just Mo meow. Oh, he does. Mostly when he's hungry, I think. Aww. Good, good job, Mo. <laughs> okay, um, so current level is one. I guess we'll see. Okay, so I spawned there, and then that's fine. So I'm going to make my enemies now um, collapse. And then on tile map loaded. Should I put it in here? Yeah. Sure. I'm drawing you a mummy, by the way. Oh, thank you. Okay. Make a function. Spawn enemies. And then oh, do a loop. On, so I'm going to drag out one of these four elements. And then I'm going to go into tile maps. Scene. Scene. Get an array of all mummy locations. And then I'm going to make a new sprite. Variable, new mummy, mummy. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a kind, I'm going to make it mummy. Maybe the enemies have different properties. Some of them are harmed by spikes and some of them aren't. Ooh. I don't know yet. Yeah, I feel yeah. Lots, lots of different, lots of potential in this game. I feel like mm -hmm. I'll make I'll make some more enemies later. We're just gonna have the enemies now, and then we're gonna place sprite enemies and scene. Mm -hmm. Place sprite on top of this value. It's gonna be new mummy, and then we're gonna set that to be not a mummy tile. Because that looks ridiculous. It needs to be uh, a floor tile. There you go. It's not amazing, but... Cool. I'll, I'll take it. It even looks like a mummy in text form. <laughs> okay. Is it 16 by 16? 15 by 27. 15 by 27. Is that how tall the cat is? It's a little shorter than the cat. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Aww. Does that make Mo the enemy? <laughs> Mummies are the undead. They should so <laughs> we congratulate them on their perseverance <laughs> through death. <laughs> Welcome back, mummies. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Wait, does Mo not turn left and right? No. Then, okay, well, maybe I'll add that. Mo, I'll add that to the to do. Mo levels. Mo mummies. <laughs> oh no, Mo. Um, add left, right looking Mo. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll remember what that means. Okay, also, when we have the mummies, we're going to have mummy follow. Mo. Oh, wait, should we have it be a smart follow or a stupid follow? Thought. Maybe a um, st stupid. Yeah. Are you asking if we should add the A star extension? Yeah. Yeah, dealer's choice. Okay. Maybe I'll add a different mummy or enemy that's smart. And this one will be stupid. This will be the basic mummy or enemy. Um, follow. The player. I'm going to change the player's name to Mo. Can I do that? Go for it. Okay. The Mo. I'm going to change it to the Mo. <laughs> right. I like the idea that you could have like a mummy cat and then a mummy cat with like fancy jewelry or something to indicate that it's like a harder one. Yes, I love. Okay. <laughs> with speed 25 because mummies are slow. They have no perception of time. They aren't living. Okay. 
Why does it? Uh, that's still a bit fast. It should be like 15. I'm going to make another enemy because I'm excited about the enemies right now. Okay. I'm going to make a new tile. On game, no, forever? No. On start? I think. On start, here it is. Uh, we're going to make a new one. Or maybe I'll, I'll put it at the very end so you know it's the king mummy. Going to make a new one. No, push the wrong one. Almost did a Richard. Okay, now. <laughs> Aren't we competing for the most? Wrong. <laughs> okay. So you're like right at the end, swooping in to the exit. Okay. Why are you mad? You're not mad. Oh, that's why you're mad. Okay. Scroll down, array of all this, and then I'm going to give it some bling. Give it some earrings. Okay, and then maybe a crown. What, what maybe? Yeah, and like a gold medal. Congratulations, King of Mummies. You did it. Uh, Good job. You were born into a position of unlimited power. Yay. <laughs> okay. Mm, maybe red eyes to make it look evil. Yes, very scary. And fangs. Gold fangs. I'm having a great time. <laughs> um, what color should the crown? Oh, I don't know if it looks like a blinged out, blinged out mummy. I have a belt. And then maybe I'll make one of the, no, the white is already used or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's that's fine for now. Maybe I'll give it more, more jewels later. I'll make it a little, no, it's, it's the same speed. Um, oh, but this one's smart, right? So I don't know, where's Joey's extension? I don't know if I've ever used it. Is it one of these? Mm, I don't know if it's in the gallery. Joey's I'll find here. it, give me a sec. Okay. That's a to-do, but I'm not gonna um, add that yet. Okay, so let's see if we have, oh, right. Red. Um, it's J Wonderl slash arcade dash tile map dash A dash star. J Wonderl slash arcade dash tile map slash A dash star. I was dash, oh. dash A dash star. No slashes. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Wow. Okay. So this is an extension I've never used before for our viewers. But maybe you have, I don't know, if, I think we've talked about it before, but A star is an algorithm to make your things follow things well. Um, I was in a machine learning class once, but it was boring, so I left it. Does anybody else want to talk about A star? <laughs> it was invented by a guy named Dykstra. Oh, really? It, does it, he just use Dijkstra's algorithm? Um, or maybe it wasn't invented by him, but it's like a, a specific case of Dijkstra's algorithm. Mm, it uses shortest path and then sets that? Mm. Yeah, it's, it's a, it is definitely very closely related to Dijkstra's algorithm. Mm, I don't know where, which category this goes into. <laughs> where it goes into scene. Oh. <clears throat> Okay, let's let's see what A star gave us. Path following. Ah, uh, so path from this, follow path. Mm. <laughs> what do I do with this? So you do um, sprite, follow path, and then you would put the location of the sprite in the first argument, and then the location of the target in the second argument. Do I have to keep updating it? Yes. Oh. 
Mm, okay. I'll set sprite follow path to be new mummy. I'll just no, I'll just do this in an update. So let's see what updates we got going. Let's see, let's see. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna collapse blocks. Format code. Wow. Collapse you. Let's see. Let's see. Forever. Uh on game update. Hmm. On game update? Which one should I use? What's the difference? Uh, um, on game update is uh like it'll run as part of the update loop. So if you're gonna do anything that pauses, you shouldn't do it in on game update. Um, but you should also not do A star in on game update. You should mm -hmm. do it in an on game update interval, just okay. because A star takes more resources. So uh -huh. it's usually good to put it in its own little thing. Okay, I'll update it every five seconds because mummies are slow. Every five seconds, we're gonna re-update. So we re, re recalibrate our mummy. <laughs> oh yes, king. I need to change the kind to king mummy. <laughs> Spawn enemies. Add a new kind, king, mummy, queen mummy? Royal mummy. Royal mummy. Uh, I can't change it. <laughs> we can have a different kind that's a royal mummy. Um, sprites of all kind, royal mummy, king mummy, queen mummy. Oh no. <laughs> uh, What'd you say? I said third try lucky. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, where is the uh, sprites of all right? It's in arrays. Array of sprites, kind, queen mummy. Sprite, follow path. Oh, I need to make a path. Path. From the current location. So, oh wait, no, that's not right. I'm not. Okay, we need to get, oh, how do I translate it to be the tile map positions? Do I have to do that myself or is it in tile maps? It's in tile maps. Oh, cool, cool. Mm -hmm. Location of my sprite should be there somewhere. Mm -hmm. There you go. Nice, very exciting. Wow, this is a great extension to maybe a contender. I've never really used this one before. So from value to location of the mo. Mm. And then that's good. What's this one? Secret block. Okay, let's see if. Okay, I made another enemy that you may or may not want to use. Okay. can't tell if the king mummy is following. I think he is because he went pa or they went past you and um, then came back down. Okay, cool. So I calculated a point. And very, very smart. Maybe about the same. Maybe for more <laughs> complex mazes, be smarter. Okay, um, I'm going to add some enemy damage logic now. So I will do that. Mm, on overlaps. Well, should I make should I make like in the game update check all the different kinds, or should I just make a bunch of on overlaps? You should make a bunch of on overlaps. Okay. It'll be more efficient. Okay, cool. On overlaps. Uh, I'm gonna make a function enemy. Over enemy over mm, touching overlaps. Um, and maybe I'll add a sprite enemy. And then I'll just call this uh, enemy sprite player overlaps a kind of mummy. Then we're just going to call my function. I'll make another one. That's a kind queen mummy. <laughs> and 
and then we can just do stuff in here. So what am I going to do? I'm going to destroy the enemy. Maybe I'll, can I destroy with a puff of smoke? That'd be cool. Yeah, there's an ashes effect. Oh, great. Okay. Oh. Ashes. Ah, cool. Enemy with ashes effect. And then we're going to... We're going to hurt Mo. Poor Mo. And then change status bar value by... I'm going to just give it a, ooh, maybe later I should, maybe now I'll give it, okay, I'm going to add my favorite extension. This is really snow snowballing, but we're adding the sprites data extension. And then we're going to give enemies some damage. So some enemies will want to really avoid, like the queen mummy, because she can take her earrings off and stab you. <laughs> so we super don't want to touch that. Oh, wow. It's very... Very, very, very thoughtful. Okay. Um, spawn enemies. So, Sprite Stat Extension, my favorite extension so far, but have some good contenders now, is at the bottom of the Sprites category, we got a bunch of stuff we can add to the Sprites. So, I'm going to add some data. Why are you mad? Okay, I'll deal with that later. Some data damage. Set. Um, new mummy, data damage to number five. No, one. <laughs> Don't want Mo to get shrecked. And then set damage to be three. Okay, now go away block. Collapse. Okay, now we're going to change health bar value by, and then, okay, so now we can use the get on it. So we set it but now we will retrieve it as a number. Enemy data, damage. Oh, but I need a damage, but I need to subtract one. It's going to do zero minus, so it's negative. And then we will be hurt. Oh yes, I need to give the enemy the, oh, I already did that, the queen mummy. Okay, so let's see if we get hurt when we touch the mummy. And if it goes away, that, that wrecked us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what happened? Did it overlap? What damage? What? What, what, di what, what did you put in for damage? One, and then also three. But maybe, did I spell damage wrong? Yes. <laughs> damage. I guess that's what happened when you set it to not a number. <laughs> okay, let's see what happens when it is a number. I guess I'll walk towards you. Okay, very, very <laughs> Okay, um, and then, oh yes, queen mummy, wait. Did I pass it? I don't remember. Okay, what should I do now? Um, I did. I did post one more enemy. If you oh, want to look at it, I do want to add more enemies. <laughs> this used to be a game about pyramids, but now it's a game about enemies. <laughs> okay, so let's make a new enemy. I'll I'll make it on the next level. This level was the mummy level, but next is going to be, who knows? Right click, duplicate, put it here. And then make this 25. Delete. I guess I didn't need to duplicate it. My tiles, make a wall, make a rectangle. And then make a wall and then pour it in, and then get some floor, and then pour that. Oh, nice. Okay, and then we're going to start it here in the corner. I guess since it's a pyramid, it wouldn't be directly in the corner. It'd be here. Wait, that's the wrong one. It would be here. And then we're going to go over here. Could be a slanted shoot that you're going Oh, for. true. 
Okay, and then we're gonna make a new enemy. What do you say, Shin? The, it's like one of those firemen holes, but for a pyramid. Oh yeah, Daryl did say we should put a pole in the center, but it was. <laughs> oh wait, okay. So what color? What color do you think the spawn circle should be, Richard? Oh, you green. Know this green. Oh, I'm gonna guess it's a uh, overzealous frog. <laughs> Lots of frogs. Okay. Now, enemy spawn. Enemy spawn. Spawn enemies. Um, all kinds. Green. Okay. Gonna set it to be 10 by 17. Oh, <laughs> do you want to talk about it, Richard? Um, so to the untrained eye, this would seem to be a cactus, a little cactus guy in a pot. Mm. He's walking around, but cactuses are not native to the Sahara. So he is actually a euphorbia. Oh my gosh. Which look similar to cactuses and are in the Sahara Desert. Oh my mm. gosh. Very, very, very spiky want to stay away what do you think what do you think its behavior should be mm, maybe it should run around what do cactuses do they look for they store water they poke you maybe maybe it should expand spikes and then Ooh, yeah do that mm. it shoot things mm -hmm. okay it could be that when you hit it you get stuck and if there were a bunch of spikes around, that would be bad. Ooh. It could leave spikes behind uh -huh. it. Oh, okay. Oh, that's good, too. That's pretty good. Okay, let's see. How should I do that? <laughs> I will change. I'll make a new tile that's a cactus spike tile. Yes, I will do that. Um, make a new tile. And then it's... Oh, actually... And delete that one. So a euphorbia is not a cactus. Oh. No. No, I'm asking. Oh. Wait, what is it? It's not. It's a euphorbia. Hmm. It looks exactly like a cactus. Well, Wait, like what's the difference then? One cacti only grow in the Americas. Oh. Really? Yeah. Are you calling Americans untrained eyes? Because that would be true. <laughs> I've never seen this before. <laughs> Um, I mean, okay, I'll be honest. I drew a cactus, and then I was like, how come I've never seen any cacti by the pyramids? <laughs> cacti are only in America. But um, euphorbias look very similar to cacti and are oh. on the mm -hmm. We also did say that this does not have to be not in the Americas. There are pyramids all around the world. True. Um, so these are spikes. I don't know if they look dangerous. I would not walk on it, but I am pretty conservative about the things I walk on. Um, so let's see. On game update. Yes, on game update. And it be, I'll make a new function and then meet behavior. Enemies, enemy be. And the me's behavior. And then if we have any other enemies that do stuff on game update, we can put it in here for, okay, wait, I'm gonna call my function first before I forget. I'm gonna lose that function. <laughs> Goodbye function <laughs> on game update. You can have as many game updates as you want, by the way. Ooh, but I feel like that will be confusing. <laughs> Uh, enemies behavior. Oh, I found it. Okay. So for all of the kinds of, oh, right. Did I, did I, I need to give it a new kind. Scroll back down. My computer screen is not big enough for this. Okay, cool. And I um, mean, what should we call it? What kind should it be? Is, should it be the non-cactus word? Euphorbia. How do you spell that? Euphorbia. Euphoria, but there's a B in there. 
<laughs> nice. Four V. And the damage will be one. And it doesn't doesn't follow very fast. It's like five. Does it follow you? Mm, I, I'll, I'll deal with that later. Okay, so back to enemy B. Yeah. So what you could do is you could just um, choose a random location for it to walk to mm. using the ASAR and mm. then check to see if it isn't following a path. And then if it isn't following a path, choose a new random location. Mm. And they'll okay. just constantly be walking around. I like that. Okay. Uh, I will do this. This is this has become a stream of making enemies because sometimes there are scary things in the world and we have to make sure that we represent them. So if... Uh, little, cact little cactus guy is not scary. He's mm. just doing his thing. You just happen to be walking over his spikes. Do you think us taking, <laughs> taking the traffic light brought the little cactus guy to life? Is this our no, fault? I mean, the mummies definitely. Mm -hmm. But I like to think that these cacti guys, you know, they're just hanging out. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Um, so is there a good checking underneath tile? Ah, tile at center of and I'm gonna put a knot here. If not. You could do it. Oh, yeah. oh mm -hmm. okay. I'm sorry, go for it. No, no, I want to hear what you, you're thinking. I, I think you, you want to do the opposite. You want to check to see if it is a floor tile. Oh. Because otherwise they might get rid of the exit. Or Good call. Tile to center is just a regular floor. Right, then we'll we will... Say, yeah. Um, I was going to say maybe you could do it on a sprite overlaps tile, but I think this is better. Mm, okay. I don't know what's like the most efficient thing to do. Probably sprites overlap. Well, no, no they're, they're, they're both fine. Okay. Yeah, you should keep doing your thing. Okay. Yeah. I'll set this. I'm, I think I can get the, yes, location of. Wow, what a, what a great extension. I chose my favorite before I knew all my options. Location. To be, yes, spikes. Okay, let's see. Oh yes, let me update the level we start on to to be two with all the euphorbias. Wow, we're learning real facts today. We're doing great. Oh, I mean, yes. I love this. Then it makes its own maze. Okay, so. Let's deal with touching the spikes. And then I'm going to, oh, enemies behavior. I can set it to be a random location. So got to get rid of that follows. Uh, you know, it'll be easier instead of using a star. What? Just give them a random velocity and say bounce on walls. Ooh, cute. I like it. OK, go back to here then. Give it a random velocity. So I'm going to set. Oh, I'm going to change this new. I'm going to just change the variable name to be new enemy. And being variable names down. New enemy VX. Yeah. To be some math. Random. But it could, it, could it be zero? I guess it could be zero, but it's... Small chance that it'd be zero. Uh, then it's just a uh, euphorbia doing its euphorbia thing. Yeah, that's just resting for a bit. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and then we're gonna set a flag to be bounce on wall true. <laughs> Cute. Okay. No new enemy. Let's see. Dance for me, euphorbias. Oh. All dancing in the same way. Maybe they should go oh. a little faster. No, that, that's a beyond me. 
Well, but still, maybe they should go a little oh, bit okay. faster. Sure. I don't know. Maybe. Five, five, negative. It still would be slow because it's random. Because if you do negative five to five, chances are that's going to be more like one, two. Yeah. And that's going to be really slow. Yeah, then we can go to the end pretty quickly. Okay. Negative eight. Maybe ten. A beautiful number. Then um, I'm going to have some, some thinking about whether or not when we overlap the spikes. Okay, so that's going to be in C. Yes, overlap spikes at location. Formo, getting so much damage. Mm. Change status, bar value. No, this is the one I want to hit. Health, 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 health. By negative eight. Because you can see it's there, right? You could have avoided hitting it. Okay, overlaps at location. Also, we're going to change this to be a regular floor again. Place. No, set, ha. Set it to be floor. I feel like my levels aren't looking, aren't looking beautiful. Full of potential. Enemy overlaps. Okay, also I'm gonna make another kind like this. Uh, oh, did I make a queen one? I did. Um, Euphorbia. Okay. Oh, also I'm going to set some damage on it. Otherwise, Mo will get wrecked. Oh, I did. Okay. Uh, damage number eight. Why'd you walk into it? Not doing you any harm. Okay. Let's see. I like the idea for this one that, like, you should just walk fast so that there's less spikes around, but then sometimes you can't walk fast because of the traffic light. I like it because it's also an enemy type that we've never done before on stream. Mm. Be excited. Okay. Um, I think that's everything I need to do for the four BS. Was, what else was I doing? I feel like there was something I was doing before, Richard was like, I have an enemy that you might not use, but obviously we're going to use it. Mm. I don't remember. I'm just going to, I'm just going to do something else let's see format code do you guys remember what it was no i remember you saying what should i do next and then i oh. said i have an enemy in my ears okay cool then i will add left and right looking mo um yeah okay i feel like this would also be on a make code final if we had a final <laughs> how to make your sprites look left and right so so we're gonna make a new Variable facing left. Set facing left. Okay, to be false. Oh, it's default to false, but that's fine. Okay, now collapse blocks. Okay, now let's do we we don't have any button we don't have any button presses yet, so I'm gonna add it on left button pressed if not facing left. Facing left. Then you'll take Mo and flip it. Flip it, oh my gosh, vertically, horizontally. Flip it horizontally. Flip picture, but not just any picture, it's gotta be Mo's image. Mo's image. Mo's image. The Mo. The Mo. The Mo. Okay. Wait, the Mo? Yep. 
Don't worry about it, Richard. <laughs> On right button pressed, if facing, oh yes, also I need to change facing left. Set. Facing left to be not get facing left. Oh no. Let's go in. Ha ha. And then put you in here. Um I think that's everything. Let's see. Let's play. Very nice. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Um I think I'm going to give myself 100% on that final exam. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I, I think one. we should just spend the rest of the time doing levels. I feel oh. like we've got a lot of stuff going, and we could maybe do a level with spikes and mummies and euphorbias. Okay, okay. add enemies, more levels. Okay, so should I? Should I? Do you think I should clean up the levels we have so far? Oh, maybe that's whatever your heart says. My heart says I don't like the ones I have so far, but I don't know what I would do to make them better. <laughs> what should I do? Mm oh, well, treasure! Sorry. Uh, well, that's more coding, and we only have 10 minutes left. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Um, I guess I should play it through and then see how I feel about playing it. So... Oh, yes. Hello, chat. Oh, Shannon, are you talking to chat? Yes, sorry. Okay, just... cool. You can, you can tell chat what's happening. <laughs> um. Maybe it's just my computer being slow. What is? Uh, it seemed like it couldn't move up and down, but maybe it's just my computer being slow. Mm. I feel like it's hard to know if the level is good because I know how the maze is set up. I can, um, so, oh, are you not destroying the old sprites yeah. when you go to the next level? Yeah, I've got to destroy the sprites. Mm. Oh, so it uh, what were you going to say, Richard? Nothing. I was just saying okay. do a Daryl, but you were doing one. <laughs> yeah, I almost, hit, I almost hit delete all blocks. I was like, <laughs> no. um, wait, where do you destroy things on level? Uh, we, there should be an on tile map unloaded. Oh, cool. I don't need to destroy it silently. I can destroy it. Ha, very nice. Well, you know? Yep. I don't know. Sure. I was just saying it might be faster to copy paste, but you're good. Mm -hmm. um, mummy. Destroy all of kind. Queen mummy. Function do. So we use the on destroy thing for lifespans. Mm -hmm. we, we use the lifespan trick. So you can't destroy them or else the lifespan trick will activate. I see. So silently destroy changes their kind to food and then destroys them. <laughs> Okay, I will make another level of size 30. It will be the ultimate level. And, and it will have everything in it. I guess everybody can tell me how they think the level, the games played so far, because it, some of it's a map, maze. So I already know how the maze works. Ooh, that's fine. And then make this a wall. And then make it up. Okay. Mm. So we started, okay, we're gonna start in this top corner first. And then, oh, this is gonna be very difficult. And then, Make some walls. 
So here, or maybe we'll have two options. You can go up or down. I don't know. I used to make a lot of mazes when I was little for my pen pal, but I don't think she ever read them <laughs> or like completed the maze. She's like, oh, this is hard. Must mean you're really good at making mazes. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> um, one of our homework assignments when I was in beginning computer science class was to make a maze, automatically make a maze, and then make a maze solver, creating our own problems. And then here. Maybe we'll have a big open space at the end. Oh, at the end where you can see the exit, but the euphorbias have already done their work. <laughs> so this no matter which way you approach it and then maybe you'll have to go so we'll have lots of ways to get to this end part of the maze um mm -hmm. yes you should okay. make one way a mummy way one mm -hmm. way a spike way yes. and then i love it okay um mummy way will be at chop King mummy, queen mummy. <laughs> okay, and then put a bunch of euphorbias down here. This is gonna be so hard. And then a spikes, not use the spikes enough. Oh yes, this will be hard. You have to just cross the spikes, spikes. Be fast. And then here, spikes. I don't know, what's an interesting way to use spikes, Richard? Yeah, I mean, you just need to make obstacles. So mm -hmm. turns while there are spikes make them more difficult because you need to change direction. Oh. Um, or putting things that force you to move. Mm. So if a mummy was near spikes, you might have to dodge the mummy, but doing so would drive you into the spikes. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll put here and then maybe a final space here so you're looking at the euphorbia path but you can't be too complacent because watch out spikes okay um and then there's got to be some stuff here maybe this should be an easier path because we did come all this way okay and then down here i'll just put some treasure and let me fill in the walls do, do, do. Do, do, do. Whoa. Oh. Wait, that was weird. I don't know. I don't know. And then let's play this one. Zero, one, two, three. And let's see how difficult it is. I'm going to be great at this game, though. Wait. left is my computer's fault i can't move anymore probably it's um maybe you didn't click on the simulator or something maybe try clicking the buttons instead of pressing the keys okay oh, oh. it's red light I think it might be the A star. Oh, wait, why? Because it's being real slow. Oh. I'll get rid of the mummy. I'm dying. I can't. <laughs> this is hard. I'll get rid of them, the king mummy. Ah, uh, I don't know. Wait, oh no. Wait, it's okay. Okay. Fuck. Okay. 
Well, I think we could do some more level design, but I don't know. I feel We're like this game's yeah, no, I mean like some other time. I feel like oh, this game's gotcha. full of potential. Very exciting game. Oh yeah. Also, we're doing this because it's traffic jam um, for our next jam, but we don't know when that's gonna be. Okay, Mo's just moving. So I think stop now. Do you guys have sure. anything else you want to add before we stop forever for today? Nope. <laughs> okay. Cool. So thanks for joining us on Temple of Doom Part Two: Enemy Enigma. My name is Vivian, and I'm at the Cheerful on the Make Code Forum. I'm Richard. I'm Shannon at Chacao on the Make Code Forum. And let us know what you think about these levels. Okay, bye.